But speaking of artists at a proper rate, he goes by the name of Vils and he's right opposite me. How are you, bro? Everything good? Hey, hey, we're in the building. You already know. We're in the building, DCM's man. DCM's in the building. Believe Coco Motive. Stand up. Baby's out now. Out now. We he live. Come, he's just eight and he's come, come on, with man. he's come with a whole lot of energy and I rate bro, that, this is, bro. This is this is what, what this this time this type of time we're on, man. High yeah. energy now, man. High energy, high just energy, high spirits. Bro. High spirit, we're healthy yeah. still, but yeah, I'm good, man. You already know, man. We're in the building. Where represent. Tell us where you're coming from, bro. Stratford, East London. Yeah. You know what I mean? The gritty streets of Newham. Okay. You know what I'm saying? A lot yeah. of man don't make it out, but yeah, that's where we're coming from. But we're here today, man. When, when I say Stratford to you, what are the first three things that pop up in your mind? You mentioned gritty, so that can already be one. Pioneers. Pioneers. Let's get pioneers, let's dive into that one. Why do you say pioneers? Come on, man. If you know about Stratford, you know about Newham. Yeah. You know about the history of Newham. Like that is the, the essence of that. Of course. Real grime essence. I'm talking from Nasty Crew. I'm talking crazy titch. I'm talking gets. I'm talking grim and all those kind of you know what i'm trying to say so it's like yeah, that's definitely. the essence man of, of, of stratford is like it's just developed it's just developed and it's like a lot of people's come out of there you know what i'm saying there's not even i would just say there's a lot of raw talent there you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah. there's always been a lot of raw talent a lot of vim okay. coming from that space man but um yeah and as well um diversity so gritty pioneer and diversity mm. why do you say diversity just a lot because of because it's like over time mm -hmm gone from gritty but now where they 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 they, they kind of revamped everything so when the olympics came and yeah, yeah, yeah. now they got all the nice buildings you know what i'm saying so it's a bit it's different you know what i'm saying of course it's different man so you got like a posh side yeah and you got like a more gritty side you yeah, know what no, I'm saying? i come from west yeah. london which is a whole world apart from east london yeah chat to me about your upbringing in east london slash stratford and how it's made you the person you are today yeah um you know it's funny i i, I grew up back and forth from Stratford and Hackney, you know what I mean, when I was young, young. Yeah. And um, for me, that just gave me that, um, I met a lot of people. I was always a people's person in terms of meeting people, networking with people from young. So yeah, yeah. it just gave me um, an advantage in terms of knowing how to build relationships with all types of people, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But um, to be honest, growing up in East London is, 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 is you have to be tough, man. Of course. You have to be tough, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. You have to be real tough still, but um, Stratford spe specifically. But overall, it was good, man. Mm -hmm. It was fun times. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Of Regardless course. of any sort of negativity, there's always fun times. Yeah, yeah. And it builds character, in it? So, mm -hmm. yeah, man. And you're now 11 deep, 11 years deep into the game. You dropped freestyles across Black <laughs> Box, Mix It Madness, New Class TV. I hmm. typed in views on YouTube and I went all the way back. Yeah, 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 back in yeah, the day, there yeah. was no TikTok, there was no Instagram, no hmm. Twitter. There was Twitter here and there, but yeah. there wasn't social media to really push artists. So would you say artists really had to graft? Do you know what? Yeah, you really had to graft. But for me, hmm. I ain't been doing music seriously for 11 years. I've been putting music out, but I've only been doing music seriously since 2019. And that's what people don't understand. It's like, people think that I've been... Obviously, I've always tried to like, make music and try and branch out, but it was always things distracting me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. My fully focus came in in 2019. That's when I really was like, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for this and try and make this happen. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So from there, that is when I kind of really pushed things of course. forward. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Um, yeah, it was difficult then. It was difficult then. I feel like now the doors wide open. Yeah, and the doors can, wide open. You know what I'm saying? And we're coming. It, it got pros and cons. We're but coming. Yeah, but that's no, definitely. You know what I'm bro. We're coming. We ain't, we, they ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah, we're coming. You you kind of touched on this a little bit, but who were you listening to back in 011 and 012 that made you think, right? He's inspiring me right now. Mm. He's really making me want to spit. Yeah. Um. To be honest, I was. I'm a proper proper music head, so I listen to everyone globally everyone, yeah. in terms of just like rap music i was a proper proper fan but to, to, to mention a few mm -hmm. um just the the, 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 the the street the street legends man street you know legend, what i mean like yeah. the blade browns and okay um the b doubles and you know what i'm saying um joe blacks yeah you know what i'm saying legend. those kind of like real uk rap legends of course you know what i'm saying so yeah man Okay, cool, fair enough. And um, obviously, you started making freestyles back in the day. Yeah. 
would you say making music and going to the studio was kind of the only way out for young black men especially if you wasn't really feeling nine to five route or the school route just wasn't you wasn't feeling it mm. would you say rap was the thing that everyone turned to um or were there more options maybe football as well nah, I thought, I thought rap wasn't really an option back then though oh was it nah it wasn't. people wasn't really making it off rap there was only a few yeah. people in london that were really making waves you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. like the you got the like k Colks and, yeah yeah and, and, and nine nines yeah, people yeah. like that but yeah. other than that no one really no one was really looking at rap as a way out yeah interesting you know not really and you had no social media and youtube was in its early days how did you know you were progressing as a rapper was um, there like some sort of buzz in the streets yeah people yeah, were noticing yeah, yeah, you? yeah 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 i was that's what i'm saying because i was releasing music from a young age i was always street famous you know what i'm saying yeah. i was always known across like different areas of london you know what i'm saying because of the music so mm-hmm. um just the progression was just the numbers you know what i'm saying views yeah because like, even back then i was i was kind of getting healthy views for someone back then releasing like freestyles and little yeah, songs yeah. like stuff like that so um yeah man just watching the views man watching the views just seeing the engagement the, the little bit of engagement i was i was grateful for that you know what i'm saying fair enough man we're gonna dive more into your music right after this one this is do or die we're gonna fast yeah. forward from 012 all the way to 019 where you drop tunes like Free At Last, Pray For mm. Me, One Thousand Nights with Northside Benji. And you mentioned this is when you started to take rap serious. Mm-hmm. What made you what made you wanna take it the next step? Obviously when I won when I was in um I went away, I was in prison for a little while and I had a child. Yeah. I had a son. So it's like at that point I was like, yeah, I got a kind of switch up the way I'm moving, you know what I mean? And switch up what I'm doing. And obviously I always knew that I was one of the hardest, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So I always knew that, okay, cool. If I just put my head down and go for this, you can take it somewhere. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And you started to collaborate more with artists such as Young Fume, mm-hmm. Young CB, Northside Benji as well. Talk to me about the importance of collaborating with different artists and merging your styles with others. It just really, for me, just uh, for me, the collaboration was to just display my talents and show people that what I can do, you know what I mean? And show people that um, I'm an artist for real, you know what I'm saying? And we can um, do different things and be in different pockets. Yeah. So, yeah, man, I think it's important to do that. But as well, I also feel that you have to, um, it's important to lay your foundation too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so yeah. lay the foundation first and then yeah. bring others. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool, yeah. yeah. That's what I would say. That's the best way to do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. In 2021, you dropped your first EP, The yeah, Vaccine. Yeah. What made you feel like that was the perfect time to drop your EP? You know what? I was supposed to drop a, a project, a full project, mm-hmm. but um, there was just a lot of issues surrounding it. So obviously we thought, you know, let's give them an EP and then show them what we can do, man. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Back to what I was saying, they're showing people what we can do, you know what I'm saying? And how versatile we can take it and just how this just just testing the waters you know what i'm saying seeing people like yeah seeing what people are um, taking to mm-hmm. just experimenting of course you know what I'm saying? how was it received when he dropped it yeah it was received well man received well yeah it was received it was received well mm-hmm. people 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 were liking it you know what i'm saying because it was still me but there was like different pockets i tapped into that people don't really know mm-hmm. i can do you know yeah what i'm saying so okay interesting and um now that it's been out for two years now Mm-hmm. And, you, and you finally ingested it. Mm. How, how? What's your thoughts on it now? Now that you can proper think about it. For the, um, the EP, yeah, yeah. Um, do, do you think it's hard? Do you think you could do better? Do you think you got way more in the yeah, locker? Right now, it's, it's, hey, what's in the locker is crazy. Yeah. What's in the locker? See the backseat? That was cool, but what we got now is like 20x that. 20x you know that. Okay, yeah, that's what I want to hear, man. Well, trust me, man. We're, we're, we're coming. Mm-hmm. I'll be real. We're coming, man. How, we're coming. how have you grown as an artist since then? I'm just more intentional, you know what I'm saying? Because I studied the game, I studied the craft, so it's like, since then I've wrote loads of music. I've wrote loads of songs, I've recorded loads of songs, you know what I'm saying? I've, yeah. I've, I've, I've sharpened my, my craft to a point where it's like, I know the direction I'm going in now. Mm-hmm. No, no more experimenting now. It's time, yeah, to, yeah. it's time to turn up properly, of course. you know what I'm saying? And you've just dropped May called Break. It's a proper yeah, deep one. What yeah. do you want people to take from it? That one, just I just had to show people that you only come to this real original rap. 
Yeah, you're one of the top it's dogs. Levels, man. Mm. There's levels to this. You know what I'm saying? The is, I don't really watch numbers and all of that stuff because all that stuff can be manipulated. But when it comes to the actual craft, it speaks for itself, innit? Yeah, and I, I think the video was flipping cold. Yeah, so just a creative different. direction yeah, towards yeah, it. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. you had like the whole news feel to it, yeah, and you had course. two people kind of interviewing you. Mm. How involved are you in the creative process of videos, studio, all of that? Um, fully involved, man. Fully involved. I've always got people around me that are adding to it because even that concept it was like that was a collective yeah. thing. You know what I'm saying? So I can't take full credit for it, but I'm always involved, hands yeah. on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Putting things together, making it happen, man. Of course. Yeah, that's how, that's how I move. I'm about to get into this unreleased rhythm with yes, French the yes. Kid. Chat Come to on. me a little bit about this one and how it came about. This one, um, this one I've been sitting on for a while. You know what I'm saying? We tapped in. French, that's my guy, man. That's a, that's a real down to earth brother, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, there's not many people like that in the industry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, man. Um, Sometimes you just meet people and your energy is just aligned. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Just the like-mindedness and the, the morals and the values just connect. Mm-hmm. So that's just what it was. And yeah, we just cut this from scratch, man. The energy scratch. was just... Yeah, in the studio it, together? Yeah, in the studio together. The energy was just aligned. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And we just made it happen. And I've just been sitting on it because like I said, I've been... A lot of things have been pushed back for a long time. Mm-hmm. But yeah, man. This, this song here is like... This is like the epitome of real rap. Like, yeah. there's not going to be another real rap song that's better than this. Like, yeah, you, I'll be you real. Are it's, it's real rap. It's not no, it's not street rap. It's not, you understand? It's real, real rap, real rap where, where man are real talking yeah, real yeah. stuff, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, and course. going back and forth. Like, guys don't do that. Mm-hmm. Guys don't do that. So, this is like, um, yeah, man, this is something, something, something strong still. What's your plans for releasing this one? Is it coming soon? It's Music coming. video? It's coming, man. Just, just cool. You know yeah? what I'm saying? Okay, it's, okay. It's cool. It's not everything is coming in due time. Everything's going to come. Time. You get me? All right, cool. Everything's coming, man. If you're listening right now, you get an exclusive sneak peek of this one. This is What Does Real Mean, Vils and French the Kid. Yo, 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 Risco. What are you telling me? That tune right there, honestly, crazy. Come on, man. I don't know how you didn't burn down the studio and you made a few coming out and everything. We did, we did, we did burn down the studio, but it ain't there no more. But you understand? Bill is French the Kid oh, coming out soon. He's telling me that, yeah, them two have another one coming as well. So make sure you stay tuned, man. We in the building, man. We spoke about Newham earlier in, on, in the interview and I just want to ask, 015, them boy Pagans dropped. Mm. How was Newham when that one came about? Like, was it shutting down parties? How was it? Um, was it was it more of a slow burner? Nah, it shut down, man. Shut down yeah, straight man, away. That was a hit. That was a hit, man. Yeah, that was a hit everywhere, though. Hit everywhere. Yeah, man. That was shut down, man. Of course. Yeah, I'm and you you've just locked in with J Huss on the new album, Baby yeah. Comeback. My personal favorite on the album, and oh, I'm not just saying that because you're here. How did it come about, and how was it being in the studio with him when you made it? First things first, big up the general man. Yeah. Oh, you know what I'm of saying? Course, that's the course. general still, but um, yeah, man, that's family, innit? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we locked in in um 2020. Oh, so that that came out came about in 2020. We made that song 2020. Damn, damn. Yeah. So I'm saying it's timeless, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, we locked in, man. We made it happen. Okay. And obviously. I don't know. He was supposed to drop a while back, but obviously I don't know what happened. Yeah. There. yeah. And now we got it, man. Well, now we're here. You know what I'm saying? It's Perfect crazy. Timing. It's crazy that you mentioned the word timeless because the way it came out and how the song is sounding, I would have thought you lot made that like six months ago, or five months ago. Nah, gee, that's three years ago, bro. Mm-hmm. Do you think your fan base has grown since then? Do you do you feel more motivated to drop music? Followers going up, everything. You ready? Yeah, now? yeah. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be real right now. It's, it's time. It's, it's a new time. Of course. It's a new time. I'll be real. That's all I, I don't want to say too much, but it's a new time. And what I'm going to bring to the game, it's different, man. Yeah. It's different still. I'll be real. That's what I've been, like I said, I've been working on my craft. I haven't stopped working on my craft. Mm-hmm. You get me? I've never stopped. I've always just been pre and seeing what's going on, revamping, trying this, trying that, trying this, and not releasing it. Yeah, but yeah. It's there. It's you know there, what I'm saying? Yeah. I can go any direction. Mm-hmm. But I'm at a point where. Yeah, I'm just uh, new new waves coming. Okay, trust me. What what's your thoughts on the state of street rap right now? Obviously, mm. Joe is not as prominent as it was back in the day, and the likes of Lil Baby and Lil Durk are cancelling their shows. <laughs> what's your thoughts on the whole hip hop as a whole? Um, 
it's in a good space, man. Good space, yeah. It's in a good space still, but um, I just feel like a lot of people are stagnant. A lot of people are um, comfortable. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Comfortable, yeah. and everyone's kind of just doing the same stuff. Everyone's but, yeah. Yeah, but I feel like there's room. There's room. There's there's there's, there's always room for improvement. There's always room for new things but i feel like there's a lot going on it's great man it's, it's amazing because i feel like new beats are coming in you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying new style of beats yeah new rappers are coming up people are people are pushing through but i just feel like there's a lot more room yeah to do more and who are you listening to right now um in terms of both uk us like what were you listening to on the way here <laughs> um baby <laughs> he's listening to baby like yeah, baby, you know yeah. baby's out now out now I understand but um yours i'll be wrong i've just been focused i ain't really been listening to too much music like that yeah you know just listen to your own stuff yeah just been working bro. okay so i ain't really listen to, and listening to old music trying yeah. to find inspiration mm-hmm. from there man so um yeah man i'll be real that's just on the show i ain't really been listening properly to yeah, music yeah. for a while okay i've been project more than this so definitely is man and tell me what's to come maybe the vaccine too or a whole another nah. whole another lane yeah, there's a project on the way but we're gonna give them we're coming we're coming man we're coming a lot's coming still you know what i'm saying i don't want to talk too much though i don't want to speak too much but okay bro, it's, it's that it's that time it's that time it's that time still i'll be real it's that time but I'm Bills, working. thank you so much for coming through is there yeah, anything you, know, you want to tell the listener right now BCM, we in the building. Believe Conquer more of it. Stand up. Stand up. We are man. in the building. Furthermore, we are the building. Baby, yeah, yeah. out now. Big out up the now. general Audrey Militaire. Number one in the Both daddy. Album charts. Num- <laughs> yeah, you know I'm saying number one, but that's that's normal. Mm-hmm. It's expected. You get it. But a lot more music is coming, and um, I'll be real. They're not really ready. They're not really ready for what's about to come. I'll be honest, man. Like, see, it is. It's, it might sound like I'm just talking a bit mad, but bro, trust me, I work, man. I get busy, bro. I'll be real. I get busy. I don't play, man. Like, as much as people don't see me releasing all of that, when it comes to terms of the craft, I get busy still. So a lot's coming. Okay. Lot Vils is, coming. is ready to so make sure. How, where, where can we find you? Vils only on Instagram. Vils only Twitter. Vils only um, TikTok. We're here, man. We're in the building. Obviously, check out the YouTube channel as well. Vils only, man. Okay. Just stay locked because if you don't stay locked, you might miss the you might miss the new wave. I'm telling you, you might miss it. Because we're coming, we in the building. You already know. BCM, we in the building. Believe can't come out of it. Stand up, man. Stand up, man. Vils, thank you so much for coming yeah, through. Let's play up. this big one, you up, man. Big you up, my broski, man. You really Appreciate know. you, bro. This, this is time. comeback. J Huss and Vils. Yeah, let's.